Hi guys, welcome to Lexa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to push EC2 logs to AWS CloudWatch service. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the last session, we have to understand few points, which is what is CloudWatch and its use cases. So if you need one place to store and manage your AWS log, then uh, Amazon CloudWatch is the best place for this one. CloudWatch is the handy feature that helps with event correlation and is critical in maintaining visibility within your technical infrastructure. Simple, since uh, EC2 cloud instance commonly run critical workload, log visibility is important and it makes complete sense to integrate EC2 with CloudWatch. So in this demo, you will learn how to set up one component of CloudWatch on your AWS EC2 instance, the CloudWatch agent. Once configured, the agent will then send selected logs to the AWS CloudWatch for further investigation. So in short, CloudWatch offers the following key benefit. Logs are default stored forever. Uh, you can configure the reintegration period as you like one month, one year, etc. Logs are searchable and custom metrics and alarms can be generated by automatically matching pattern in the log in the real time. So guys, let's begin the last session and we'll see how this setup is useful for the cloud admin, right? So let me open the figure, then you get a better idea. Yep, as you can see in the figure, this is the lab setup we are going to perform, right? So here is what you have to do. We have one create EC2 instance with IAM role with CloudWatch right access, right? So we will create a IAM role and attach with EC2 install. Then second, install CloudWatch log and EC2 agent. So we need to install one agent that is a CloudWatch agent. Then in the third, configure log source in the CloudWatch agent configuration file. So here we have to configure the CloudWatch log agent file and start the agent with the configuration file. Then validate logs in the CloudWatch dashboard. So it will push your uh, agent will push the log to the CloudWatch and here in the CloudWatch log service, we will view our logs that dot those log come through my ec2 instance using agent right so uh, cloudwatch agent is the best way to ship logs from one ec2 instance to is used to cloudwatch agent so this is the app process that run on the instance and can be configured to ship any logs or metrics to the cloudwatch right so let's get the lab started as you can see this is my aws console and currently i'm in mumbai region so let's launch one ec2 instance with the basic setup so for this demonstration purpose i will go with red hat ami you can go with anyone and i will use uh, user data field for launch basic web server right so let's click on the instance currently let me check i don't have any instance in this region so let me click on the launch instance Go with the instance name, say I'll give name demo. It could be anything. Scroll down, select Red Hat AMI. I'm using with Red Hat AMI. So Red Hat AMI is there. Scroll down, key pair. Let me create a new key pair for this demonstration purpose. So I'll go with demo one and create key pair. It's downloaded successfully in my download folder. Under the network setting, let me enable SSH as well as Apache traffic, HTTP web traffic and scroll down, go to the advanced detail and here under the user field, scroll down here, I will just copy my basic web server script. Uh, let me copy from here and paste it here, simple. So bin bash, install SDPD, service start, make it permanent on and this is the content, welcome to my web server, right? Let it be launch instance. Okay, so, we have successfully launched one EC2 instance under Mumbai Reason. Now move to the next step, which is make a new IAM role and attach with this EC2 instance, right? So for that one, what I need to do, scroll down here, view all instance, it's pending, okay? So go for, go for IAM from here on the search bar, open a new tab. Now let me make one IAM role with policy. So what policy we want? We want CloudWatch agent server policy, right? So let me go with role, make one role, create role, and go with the EC2 instance. Okay, scroll down, next, search for that particular policy. Yep, it's a managed policy. Select that one, go to the next, and give the nice name, say demo. Okay, and create, that's it. So finally, we make one new IAM role and now I'm going to attach this with my EC2 instance, right? So we can click view role 
and under the policy I can expand it click these are the rights we have see volume tag put log events I describe log groups and log event right go back on EC2 instance select your EC2 instance go to the instance state or action go to the security under the security we have modifying IAM role select here give your own role that is demo and simply update that's it so finally I attach this role to my EC2 instance let it be refresh yeah now move to the next step which is connect with this instance and installs and install cloudward agent so let's take the console first so for that one i'll go with my git bash tool you can go with putty or move extrem anyone choice up to you so i'll select go to the connect let me copy the such client path again go back on instance uh, go to the download folder uh, here's the download right click demo one file is there open my git bash let me make large for you okay now we'll give you a second yeah right click paste the entire path are you sure to continue yes login with sudo privileges login and root yeah so currently i am logging with root account like so let me launch the let me install uh, the cloudward agent right so here's the command rpm ivh and the complete url right so let me click and paste here uh, later on i will share this url in the description you can grab it from there right so amazon s3.com amazon cloudward agent red hat amd64 latest and this is the rpm file so it's simply install and uh, after the installation you can find all the cloudward agent related configuration file and executable file in the OPT under OPT we have AWS under Amazon Cloud Agent right so these are the important files now we need to install collect D collect D is a open source Linux daemon that periodically collects performance metrics from application and system level information right so let me add the EPEL repository for this one and then install collect D so again I'm going back my notepad file let me install the EPEL repository from given URL so dnf install http dnf folder project and you can download it perfect and now install the collect d and make it permanent on the service across the next remote so yum install collect d system enable collect d service hyphen hyphen now all right so let it be complete first okay it's there stall and create symbolic link done successfully now move to the next step which is configure the cloudward agent you can run this uh, the agent configuration wizard i will run through the wizard to create the file and will copy the file for further deployments for this deployment i will only collect the collect log not to matrix so select the appropriate option for your specified requirements what you want right so let me run the configuration wizard using the following command command is this one sudo and copy the entire command right so i'll go here right click and paste simple press enter welcome to the amazon cloud watch agent configuration manager so which os you want to go default is one press enter uh, it's a ec2 installs or on prem ec2 press enter which user i'll go with the root press enter do you want to turn on status d daemon no i don't require it so give two do you want to monitor matrix yes do you want to monitor any host matrix yes press enter do you want to monitor cpu matrix yes do you want to add ec2 dimensions yes do you want to aggregate the ec2 dimension instance id yes would you like to collect your matrix at high resolution yes and which default matrix config do you want so i'll go with the basic one default one are you satisfied with the above configuration uh, it can be manually customized yes do you have an existing cloud was log agent currently i don't have in this machine this is totally fresh by default is two is no so i'll go with the default do you have monitor any log file yes definitely i want to monitor so what is the log file path so i want to monitor first of all slash where log s e c u r e log walk secure choice name is secure stream is instance id uh, retention days is hyphen one go with that one do you want to specify additional log files to monitor one more yes go with the uh, where log httpd access underscore log right the apache access log okay default is access log go with the instance id 
press enter do you want to specify any other file i said no two is sufficient for me and do you want to store the config in ssm parameter store i don't require it. say two press enter program exists now right so it prompts you with the all agent related question i'll put up the entry output of cloud vault agent uh, file will be stored in vim uh, opt under opt we have aws then amazon cloud agent and here under the bin we have config.json file right this is the configuration file where the all entry is going to be stored look at that var log secure and var log stdbd access log right so it will uh, it will now streaming easy to secure log from path var log secure and apache access log from var log stdbd underscore access log to the cloud watch right now let's start the cloud watch agent using the following command so i need to start the agent also let me quit qw and here's the command to start the log watch sudo copy the entire path and press enter done create a symbolic link perfect it's on successfully now check the status using the another command that is a command to check the status it should be running condition so paste press enter yeah status is running and properly configured so it's configured and running successfully now move to the final step validating custom log in cloudwatch dashboard so let me make a one demo user and open su session for that user so that if everything is okay that authentication log will be stored under the var log secure which will be get reflected into the cloudwatch log as well as we will generate some web traffic also for the web access log right so let me make user add jack okay give the password g a c k jack one two one two switch user with jack open the session exit the session and let me check the web traffic also so let it be connect the ip address from here 13 to 32 open new tab press enter yeah welcome to my web server service properly running okay so now traffic successfully generated let me check to the cloud watch c l o u d cloud watch so let me open a new tab right so now all setup is done you can view the all configuration logs under the cloud watch dashboard under the log option right let's check here is the log group and let me refresh yep you can see that access underscore log and secure is there right if i click on the secure i'll go to the instance id 511 let me check the instance ID yes 511 I'm here and let me open there is a should be entry of jack user remember yep geo group is there session open for jack user you can see that right jack uid generate generate I need to change the password the session is open using su command then session is closed for jack, jack user similarly if I go back on the apache let me check apache access log I scroll down uh yeah it is there see ip is 103.171.100.250 let me check what's my ip so what is my ip so my public ip is 103.171.100.250 so 250 you can see that ip is there right so guys you can see that clearly the logs are automatically moved so so here we have the log which is coming from our EC2 instance, right? So guys, this is how we, we have seen how to stream CloudWatch log from EC2 to CloudWatch by using CloudWatch agent configuration wizard, right? So this wizard automates our task to create JSON file based on our requirement with the user-friendly options, right? Finally guys, this is the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please reach out through my social media links, which is mentioned in the description. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.